Okay, so this is gonna be like a two-parter grocery haul because I'm, I've got this like mini haul on the Sunday, which is a few bits that we needed for the week and a couple of like Christmassy bits, but then I'm gonna do a proper like food shop uh, near the end of the week. Probably before the week, yeah, definitely before the weekend actually, so I don't really wanna go when it's just too much. I got two of the Rachel's Luscious Fruits yogurts, just thought the kids could have something different. We've been buying the same stuff and actually they've been going off the, um, Munch Bunch ones, they just, I don't know. So I thought, switch it up, these were on offer. Um, we've got the cherry, cherry, strawberry, raspberry and peach in that one, and then two peach and two mango. Got some chestnut mushrooms. Uh, got some simple sage and whole chestnuts. This is for the pork and chestnut stuffing that I do for over Christmas. And yeah, I'll be making that batch up. So I just got those before. I mean, I, th I remember one year, I think, there was literally a low stock of sage and I just could not get hold of the fresh stuff. So I thought I'd just buy it now. Um, I've got some hake fillets. The kids just love the love fish and um, and they always moan when we get the breaded cod or whatever and I always get them fish cakes. So in, instead I just got us all the same. So I think these were on offer. So I've got those. I got the super salad baby kale. This looks really, really nice. It's kind of a little bit purpley. Uh, I think that was a pound. I've got some um, baby potatoes and just literally going to chop them up into wedges with the fish as a meal this week. We've got the Chantilly carrots, um, some kitchen towel, two for two pounds on the um, ironing water. It's really good stuff and it's great obviously if you're not blocking up your iron. I have really hard water. Um, I live in a really hard water area so that's kind of needed. Um, I got some more of the little baby peppers. I love those with hummus, carrot sticks. I got two lots of mulled wine. They were doing this a pound off. So I think these were three pounds a bottle. And then I got one Bucks Fizz. I'm literally the only one that drinks Bucks Fizz in the morning. So I got one of those um, on for Christmas day. Um, two lots of the roast chicken thighs. These were also on offer, save 20%. So I got two lots of, for lunches for me and Gray this week. Bananas, you can see we've still got quite a bit of fruit over there. So I literally only got bananas. Um, and then I've got broccoli, uh, spring greens. And then I'm trying to reduce the amount of dairy to see if I can see an improvement in my skin. So I thought I would try these as a kind of alternative. Um, I, I noticed that they did the avocado oil spread. So I thought that would be quite cool to try. I had really good reviews. So I got that. And then I also got... Um, the Pippin Nut, this is new in, the almond drink with honey and vanilla. That just sounded amazing, so that's why I got that. Um, and then also, I was looking for sort of a dairy-free yogurt. They're all so blooming expensive, honestly. Um, but I thought this one seemed quite nice, so I thought I would try this and it wasn't too overpriced. And lastly, I got the Chocolate Selection Waitrose. This was five pounds, and actually, randomly, I went in, into Waitrose yesterday, and actually, in store, they're seven pounds. But, yeah, they're not, it didn't even say they're on offer in, on Ocado, but they are definitely a five pound box. And they kind of have all the kind of soft ones that we like. They've got the Coconut Truffle, um, Chocolate Mint Eclair, um, coffee truffle, strawberry cream, orange cream, fudge and toffee. And I swear that's literally all that me and the kids and Graham really eat. So I just thought it, you know, it'd be good to try it. It was five pounds and um, yeah, just give them a go really. Colgate was on offer for a pound for the kids. Maryland cookies, um, just to finish off school lunches for this week. We've only got four days at school. Oh, well, actually, Alistair's got a Christmas meal on Wednesday, so... Um, yeah, I got cheeselets and twiglets. They were down to a pound or a pound fifty on there, so I thought I'd get those. And then some salted peanuts is what Graham requested. And lastly, I've got some bread because we need some bread. So yeah, that is pretty much um, grocery haul part one. Everyone, so this is part two of the Christmas food shop. So you'll notice that I don't really have much vegetables or anything because I'm not actually doing Christmas dinner at our house this year. We're going to our mother-in-law's. We do this kind of every other year or every two years. So she said come over to her. So I'm making the stuffing. I'm doing Yorkshire pudding. So um, yeah, so I'm not actually doing Christmas day at ours. So this is literally Christmas Eve, some treats and Boxing Day, 
as well. I've got family over both Christmas Eve and Boxing Day, so I've got quite a lot. I spent just over £80, uh, which I don't think was too bad. Um, of course, I don't need meat, so this doesn't include really any meat. Um, yeah, so drinks-wise, I've got Pepsi Max, Graham requested Pepsi Max, and I've got Diet Pepsi, my mum likes that, and whoever likes soft drinks, I do have another bottle in my fridge. I've got two bottles of Prosecco. Again, I have rosé wine, I've got red wine already in the, in the house, and I've got another bottle of Prosecco, so I've got plenty anyway. Um, so this is pretty much Christmas Eve. Um, so I thought I would do, the kids can have snacky stuff, and then, well, they, actually everyone can have everything, so we've got basically cheese and crackers. So I bought the salami section, applewood, um, cheese, two president camemberts, We've got Graham's favourite cheese, which is a Wednesday Dale with cranberry. We've got blueberries and grapes. And then I've got some sausage rolls, which are frozen, which you pop in the oven. I love these ones because I love them when they're warm. Um, they were only a pound. And then I also got the king prawns in tempura, mozzarella sticks, the pulled beef wellingtons. They sounded good. Pork sausages kind of like a snacky sort of Christmas Eve. We've got some dip selection here, breadsticks, we've got the crackers underneath. Um, so that is gonna be pretty much Christmas Eve. And then the treats, for treats, we've got these little mini mini cupcakes. Um, these were only two pounds and we've got loads of children coming. Um, and I thought they're just perfect size for them. Obviously anyone can eat them, but I thought they were really, really sweet. And then these are the gingerbread ones. Again, they were two pounds, so I've got lots of little cupcakes. This is the extra boxes of chocolates that I brought. So I got the miniatures. Uh, this was two pounds. I thought that was quite a good value, and they're like my favorite. Um, Quality Street were four pounds, and celebrations were also four pounds. Oh yeah, and dessert I'll be doing as well for Christmas Day. So I bought the Br Bramley apple pie. This is two pounds 50, or it might be three pounds 50, I can't remember. No, I think it was £2.50. This is a frozen one, but it's huge, as you can see. It looks really, really nice. And then I also got the Black Forest Naked Layered Gatto, which looks like that. That was £6. Um, I think it serves like 10 to 12 people, apparently. Um, so that's two desserts with two lots of the deluxe custard, which will probably be used just for this. I've got bread just for us for the rest of the week. We've got mushy peas. Um, pretzel cracker tray. This was a pound. I thought that was good for snacking. This is basically for Boxing Day. This is going to include cold meats like gammon, turkey. Um, we've got some bread sauce I'm going to make up. Um, we've got all the condiments. We're going to have mushy peas, um, baked beans, pickled onions, Branson pickle, cranberry sauce, pickle lily, and we've got some beetroot as well. It's kind of like traditional. We usually do like the cold meats and that sort of thing and mashed potato on um, Boxing Day. So for pudding, we've got the chocolate Yule Log, which was three fifty dollars from Asda. Um, and then I've got the luxury mince pies and then the iced topped ones as well. And then we've got double cream and squirty cream to go with those. Hopefully that'll be enough. And then this is just the added extra stuff. Uh, we've got bananas. You can see Graham got a. We've got so much fruit anyway, but I always stock up on bananas because the kids eat them. They go through them so quickly. We've got uh, root mash and cheesy mash. That's actually for dinner tonight. I've got two bags of carrots. I gave some to the horses, but they're only twenty p a bag, so I thought I'd get those. Um, some yogurts to last us for the week. Some ground ginger because we're going to make some gingerbread. Got some plain flour and then I got some day cream because I really needed some so I've run out of cream. Um, and this was on offer for £4 so I just thought I'd grab it. It was from down from £10. And then I got two lots of matchmakers to finish off my hampers because I still haven't finished those. So um, yeah, that is pretty much the end of the Christmas food shop.